Hey, OBC fam. So for a couple months, we've been working on something that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy, are excited about, and so I want to talk to you a little bit about that today. So what can it be? Well, I'm going to tell you. We are now doing online giving. So we have offering on Sunday mornings, but also we have this as an, another option. So how do you do the online giving? Where do you go? So first, let's go to Oscar Baptist Church. So when we get on OscarBaptistChurch.com, you go to, straight to the homepage. You don't go anywhere else. And you scroll down, and there's going to be this green little Give button just in the center. So click on that. And when you click on that, it's going to show you a little box that says OBC, Oscar Baptist Church, and Give. And so you can put that in there, and then off to the side over here, you can do the general fund. You can also tithe. When you click on the recurring giving, you can do weekly, every two weeks, every month, or you can also do first and 15th of the month. And you can personalize those however you need to by date. But we're going to say no to the recurring for right now. We're going to go down here to where you can put your name. You can also have it to where you can pay from your card or it can come straight from your bank account. Then you can put your card number if you do pick the card option, put your month, year, all that good stuff down there. And then after that, you'll have two other options down here. And one of those is remember me. So you can have your password and your pin. And we'll get back to the password and pin. That's not your bank account, but that's when you sign in or you uh, sign up for the online giving. So here's the bank option. You can put your uh, routing number down below, your account number, and you can also have the choice to either pick individual or company, depending on um, how you're giving. Let's go in as if we are logging in. So you get this page, it's green, and you can put your email and your password in and log in from here. Well, what if I don't have a login? Well, you're in luck. There's more buttons. You can create account, or if you forget your password, there's also a reset password button as well. So we're going to create an account right now and give you an, an idea of what that actually looks like so you can see it here in the demo. So we're going to tell Safari, yep, we're going to remember me um, for this day of where I'm located. All right, so create an account. You put your first name, you put your last name, put the email, create a password, confirm the password, uh, four digit pin and confirm the pin as well and then when you get all that together and wrote down you can click submit and then it'll take you to something like this and it has everything that you saw before so we'll go off to the side you can go home if you don't see Oscar Baptist Church if it gives you a random church that's nearby you can go up here to the search bar and you can type in Oscar Baptist Church Click on it and you're there. And then after that, it should save as your uh, primary giving option. This is basically what you also see from the iPhone app of Tithely. Um, this is powered by Tithely and it's free. It's from the um, iOS app store and it's also from the Google Play store for any Android users out there. And this is exactly the same layout as what you see here as on the phone. So over here you have recent and what recent is is just your history like how much you paid what card did it come from and that's what that is it's just it's just your history just to let you know what you've done and then you have payment options you can do credit card debit card or through bank and then automated uh, maybe you have this set up weekly or however you have it it'll tell you right here and then you also have your account which has all the settings that you have uh, put in and you can go in there and change them anytime. We're going to go into recent just to kind of give you an idea and I've blurred out my information because you don't need it but that's the style. So you'll have like a little um, green plus mark out to the side and when it drops down it will give you all your information of what card you paid from yada 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 payments. We're going to click on that. I've also blurred out my information but it has the credit cards, the debit cards, And then also the bank account, which I don't have mine linked up, but you can also link yours up if you want to. And so we're going to go back 
and um, automated there's that but here's here's your account so if you want to change your email if you want to change your password or change your pin at any time toggle those on to where they turn green this is for iPhone uh, if you're Android it'll be a little bit different and then you can change it at any time and then after that you can go back to your home and that's that's Tithely. That is how we are going to do online giving. Um, like I said, this is an extra option. This is not the only option to give, but this is an extra option for those who really need it. And also, I'm going to show you real quick of what the app looks like on an iPhone. I took a screenshot, blurred out everything, and here's the app on my home screen. It's a green icon. Um, on Android, I think it's round. So off to the left, that's what it looks like too. And it's a image of a phone a smartphone and then it has a plant growing out from underneath it so that's what that is if you have any questions just let us know this should be easy we've done a lot of research in the reviews and the experience with it and this is the number one rated uh, way to do church giving so we're pretty excited about this so like i said if you have any questions send us an email or a message on facebook and we'll get back with you